Cheerio, what the fuck? It happened again. I'm talking away and all of a sudden the video stops. And you remember a couple videos ago I had it happened. I just spent all this time on iMovie and it wouldn't upload. God bless boomers. Okay. NK, so different than Shannon. Okay, well, she was different in lots of things. She had a good credit score. She could balance a checkbook. But here's where she was the most different. Different. She asked Chris how he felt. She cared about his opinion. She, she listened to him. Little things like that. And unfortunately, Shannon was a narcissist and didn't give a fuck about anybody but herself. She had the husband, children, and house were props for her little fake online life. That was all about her. Uh, that, that What I just said leads on to my next point, that Sherilyn Cadle says that Chris was addicted to NK. No, he wasn't. He just liked being heard. He, he enjoyed feeling like a human being. That's really all it was. Uh, in the text messages that Shannon's having with her friends, she her friends are now saying, do you think there's a chance he's cheating? Shannon doesn't bring it up to them. They bring it up to her. And she says, absolutely not. He's got no game. Hey, bitch. <laughs> he had enough game to get you. Duh, he has no game. He got you. And I'll tell you what, he's looking mighty fine right now. You might not even need too much game because he's looking good. And then uh, I'm going to shut it down with this because this is really just the end of part four. Sherilyn says, you know, Shannon never thought he would have an affair. She never thought he would murder the family. Shannon thought she had him wrapped around her finger. She wasn't worried about anything. I mean, he was a 33-year-old man who didn't own a car. He didn't own a car. Remember that? The car, the Lexus, well, the Lexus was owned by Thrive, and Shannon used it, but they sold his Mustang. The Mustang he had for 15 years, they put all that money and time into. Look... My first husband owned cars. I know the expense into it. Remember, they bought that a supercharger for that car because she couldn't get pregnant with Bella after two and a half months. So she figured she was infertile. And I guess she was infertile because of her lupus, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut this down. This was all part four, and I just wanted to finish it. If you're still watching right now, I am shocked. Please hit like, hit subscribe. God bless America.